Hi, I'm Crow. Welcome to Driftwood Hollow Drums and to this little sound demonstration video that uh, we're making today for one of the Etsy listings that we have for a, a shamanic drum. Uh, the drum in question is this beautiful deer skin drum. So as you can see, deer skin head on the front here. Uh, it's been put onto an oak frame it's a 16 inch diameter frame uh, the handle is made from twisty willow or curly willow uh, whichever I'm not sure which is the correct term for it but it's willow branch handle well seasoned uh, at least two and a half years ago I think that this was pruned off a off a tree uh, and I managed to gather some of the prunings from the very kind gentleman who I saw there doing his pruning <laughs> so on the inside of the frame I've burnt in driftwood hollow drums which is the maker's mark but also more importantly the date of birth so it was the the day that I birthed the drum and it was the 5th of April 2021 and that's to enable you to look up the astrological chart for the drum uh, and find out what energies were around on that particular day it may have influenced and been embedded and imbued into the to the energy of the drum itself. The uh, the drum has been laced with artificial sinew, uh, which is much better at resisting the effects of moisture than say if it was laced with skin, uh, which absorbs moisture as well as the drum head absorbing the moisture. And I mention this because. Playing a shamanic drum is, uh, you've got to sort of tune your drum before you play because they are, uh, whoop, dogs barking in the house there. They are susceptible to the effects of humidity, moisture, uh, temperature. So in very, uh, very damp conditions, your drum head will absorb moisture and it will go slightly looser. And in very hot, dry conditions, the, uh, the drum will dry out and all the moisture will go from the drum and you'll end up with a very tight drum which sometimes can be too tight uh, and it can be dangerously tight and you need to uh, apply some moisture a wet rag or a spray of water to enable the drum head to relax a little bit i'm going to make a separate video all about this that i'm going to put a link to uh, on the video here hopefully before it gets posted uh, so yeah so that will explain all about the maintenance care of your shamanic drum as well but for today the purpose of the video really is for you to have a little listen so i'm going to use two beaters to play the drum with now a firm beater and a soft beater and they'll both give a slightly different sound uh which hopefully you will be able to discern for yourself uh, and then you may have a preference for one or the other either or both of these are available to buy uh, when you purchase the drum, if you decide to purchase. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to start with a firmer beater, I think. Just to give you a, an idea of the sound that it produces. Here we go. Okay, so you will probably have noticed the softer beater gives a more muted, a more gentle and softer type sound. 
uh, perhaps a little bit quieter as well. And I find that, this is my preference, I find that great for, for meditating and for journeying with. Uh, it's a more gentle, relaxing, soothing sound. Whereas the firmer beat is great if you're playing, I think, with other people or in a drum circle or, or you want definition to your sounds. Uh, it's got slightly brighter, brighter sound. Anyway, there will be, you will have a preference, I'm sure. Uh, we're all so different, aren't we? <laughs> I'm Crow, it's been Driftwood Hollow Drums. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope it's helped you to make a more informed decision when choosing your shamanic drum. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.